What is up, XFM? I'm not gonna waste your time. You read the title of the video. Today, we're gonna talk about what cards are most likely getting nerfed. We're gonna talk about what are the cheapest Hive MR teams that you can build and what are the great axes to breed at the moment. Follow me. All right, here we go. So this is a table I made by manually selecting every single one of the top 50 MMR players from the letterboard of Axie Zone, <laughs> looking at the skills of each Axie that they have, then looking for the price of each Axie, and uh, combining the total price of every team and also parsing all of those skills into this table so we know what are the skills that are being most used uh, amongst those axes. Here, you can see that the winner, the winner of it all, is not surprising, is Cute Bunny, okay? I talked about Cute Bunny in a later video, this card. You have Aquas with Cute Bunnies, you have Beasts with Cute Bunnies. I wouldn't be surprised if we saw Dawns, uh, but yeah, I mean, that jokes aside, Dawn actually is the only, only class that has zero axes in the top 50 MMR. I did talk about Dawn more than likely getting buffed in my latest video. And uh, I think this <laughs> this is pretty much proof that they need to do something about that. But anyways, looking at the other skills I think are gonna get nerfed. I was surprised, Hotbot is incredibly popular, like much more than other tales. Uh, we have Bidens with, uh, you know, being the second mo uh, more popular plant card, and then Cactus uh, being the third one. So, I mean, Yam is a card that I use a lot, and it's I thought it was maybe getting nerfed because, you know, it's poison, but it's used much, much less than I thought it was. Then when we look at Aquatic here, Nemo, no surprises, definitely gonna get nerfed to some degree. It's just a much better version than Cottontail. Uh, and Animone, 24 uses here out of all of those axes that we parsed. So, overall, you can see that Aquas... Not only they are the class, the second class that more uh, more often shows up, they also have two specific cards that are way too strong. You know, I'm not trying to scare anyone here, but if you do have a lot of Animones, if you have a lot of Nemo cards, maybe, you know, if you have a farm that consists of that Animone, Goda, Nemo, maybe scaling down a little bit would be a good idea. But yeah, I was surprised that Bird actually has uh, that many axes in the top 50. Uh, I, I I saw the increase of Birds when I actually started playing Axe Infinity. Birds were, uh, I guess they were not as <laughs> uncommon as Dawns, but they were super cheap and they were pretty much ignored. And and what happened is that birds just, I think people slowly started started to realize how strong birds can be. But they, they are very, very popular. You can see that the they don't have any red cards. The red cards showed up more than 20 times uh, from everything that I parsed. But we can see post fight, pigeon post, double talk, and eggshell being very common. And, you know, I think this is just a little bit deceiving because, uh, you know, everyone is saying that Grass Snakes was gonna get nerfed, right? What happened here? Did everyone that was in the top 100 just sold their Grass Snakes? Or did enough time pass ever since the, the season ended that people figure out things that are even stronger? I think this is uh, this can be deceiving, and I hope Sky Mavis will look at all of the data and not only the season data, because sure, I think a part of these players might have sold a couple of their Grass Snakes, so that's why we only see six Grass Snakes uh, being used in the whole top 50 but at the same time I do feel like people were able to improve and find ways to deal with that I mean a good a good uh, example of that is Biden's being one of the most popular cards uh, with plant right because it's not only using plants in the first place but it's a hard counter to Grasnake if Biden's is good enough so that you can just have Biden's in uh, in your axes and in Grasnake's isn't as effective then maybe Grasnake's isn't that strong double talk is also I, I was surprised that we only saw 10 double talks in the whole thing but yeah this is what I wanted to show you guys if you do have axes you know if you do have a full cute bunny team be aware that there's a highlight likelihood the price of those axes are gonna drop you can i mean no one and knows exactly when the patch is gonna drop so it might be a month and maybe keeping those axes so you can farm slp the whole time is worth it it might not be worth it so i can't really tell you what to do just be aware that uh i do feel like their prices might drop all right so this is the cool part okay i was able to calculate the price of all of those teams and full disclosure here Obviously, the prices that are shown here are the absolute floor of the axes that have those skills, with very few exceptions. Uh, let's say that, you know, Axie 1 here 
is a Dusk with Gary Swarm, Killed Bunny, Antenna Fishnack. The Dusks are not gonna be the cheapest one. So if I search for all of those four skills and a bug shows up, that is the price that I added here and not the price of the actual Dusk. But I think what I, uh, what I mean by doing this approximation is that for most players, you know, unless you're actually really good or already used to playing against, you know, the top 1000 players uh, in X Infinity, you will probably benefit from having a good set of skills in your team rather than having you know slightly better stats with war skills that's how i think about it that's how i feel maybe other better players than me could disagree but for for the sake of you know <laughs> being able to provide you guys with easy value that you can like actually see and just copy i think that's the best way i could uh, you know suggest teams for you guys uh one thing before i actually start recommending these teams is that remember all of the skills that we saw here, all right? Because a lot of the teams that are very cheap right now are teams with skills that are more than likely getting nerfed because they show up a lot here, okay? So be mindful of that when you buy, okay? With that said, let's begin here. I'm gonna show you guys all of the teams that cost less than a $1,000, uh, meaning uh, 0.3 Ethereum. I know Ethereum increased in price a little bit today, guys, but you know, I, I was made, like this took a long time to make. I, I actually wanted to drop this video yesterday, but unfortunately I couldn't finish the table and the price of Ether increased. Still, I feel like these axes are very cheap and uh, you know, maybe you can uh, do a couple of tweaks here and there and still pay a $1,000. The first one that we see here, and this one is actually Actually a pretty popular team uh it is the bird with pigeon post double talk egg shell and post fight so i guess i can open so there we go we have a biden's plant with zigzag we have cactus hotbutt then we have uh this second plant that has carab uh this is really good against you know the heals from animals that we see everywhere it's really good against uh herbivore and zigzag and uh oh Oh, there we go. And that is the bird. Pigeon post, double talk, eggshell, post fight. It's just a lot of raw damage. You do, uh, you can play around with eggshell. You can, there, there's a lot of cute little plays that you can do. And uh, having pigeon post also allows you to deal with poison. So pretty much everyone here can actually, I guess this guy doesn't, but everyone else can actually deal with those um, status modifiers. And this team is really good. I'm not gonna go literally uh, over every team because I'm gonna give away this table for you guys so you can actually make decisions by yourself. I'm gonna buy one of these teams and I'm gonna play with it at the end of this video. Uh, and I'm gonna show you guys which team I'm, go I'm gonna buy because I was very impressed about the price of this team. Oh yeah, this is the one. This is the one, my friends. So, you have this Biden's plant. You have a uh, a Dusk that has Risky Beast, Tiny Turtle, Lagging, and Torny Caterpillar. So, it's a different Terminator, I guess. And um, you get this guy with Bone Sale. Bone Sale is a really good card, by the way. Like In the Excel spreadsheet, there were not more than 10 Bone Sales. But this was probably the most popular Reptile card uh, out of everything. So, uh, I do like this card a lot. And I, I really like this team because the prices are incredibly cheap. I'm going to show you guys right now. Here... You can see that it actually costs, if you buy the absolutely floor of these axes, you're paying only 1.097 Ethereum, which is a steal. But what I'm going to do is actually spend exactly $1,000 because we can do much better than the floor of these axes. So the first thing I'm going to do is buy this Dusk. So it's the Bone Sail, Tiny Turtle, Lagging, Torny. Um, bone Sail, Tiny Turtle. The floor of this one is 0 0.06, which is absolutely cheap. But we will actually increase the speed to 45, I think. So this is already Dusk territory. So this is a little bit too expensive. Uh, all right. Maybe we can get a 0 0.11 Dusk. So uh, maybe we can we can get a little bit cheaper on, on the other ones. So I'll keep this Dusk for now. Uh, and uh, we might have to get a Reptile if everything else, if, if, the <laughs> if we can get a cheaper one. But now let's go with the Risky Beast, Tiny Turtle, Beast... All right, so again, an Axie with a super cheap floor. We will try and increase the speed here just so we can get a better Axie. Provided we spend 0.09, we can still get away with this Dusk. And look at this, we can still get a Dusk. Like we're literally buying two Dusk. So I thought we were gonna have to buy the Reptiles, but if the plant costs 0.1, we're still gonna be able to get away with this. So uh, what was the price that I wrote here? 
0.084 for the plant. So uh, I think this is going to be absolutely amazing. Let's go with uh, Biden's Biden's serious cactus. So the floor is 0.07. I want to increase the floor because I want a. OK, so we can't go with 61 HP because that is 011. So maybe we can go with 60. What about that? OK, it doesn't get better. 59. OK, so we have a so this one has an aqua part. Both have aqua parts. All right, let's go with the cheapest one then. Uh, and if we buy this one, we are spending 0 0.283 Ethereum. And uh, this is a top 50 team, by the way. So this is amazing. This is incredible. I'm going to buy this now. Let's get all of them. And I'm going to play these axes at the end of the video. So stay tuned for that. But before I do that, we have to check out the table again. And the way we do that is actually do the opposite side. We look at the expensive axes. But there's one caveat to that. I don't want to go for the super expensive ones, the one Ethereum ones, because those axes are usually priced as a meme. I think it's very rare to find an axie that people are legit going to pay one Ethereum every time they see it available. I think that's very hard. And if you're not very experienced with the marketplace, with PvP, you might just uh, lose a lot of money trying to replicate an axie that is not worth what you know the market says it, says it is. So uh, I'm going to look for for teams that cost about like more, I'm gonna look for teams that cost more than 0.5 and I'll find which X is really expensive there. This one, for instance, 0.395, that's the floor, by the way. So it's a green torrents. This is really good because it doubles the shield when you combo with a plant card. So you have a zero cost card that gives you 60 shield. And at the same time, you have zigzag that gives you extra 60 shield and heal. And uh, I mean, provided you have two energy at the end, you would like the least amount of shield you're gonna have is 170 shield whilst you life steal, whilst you do a lot of damage, whilst you disable someone's mouth, or you're gonna be doing a shit ton of damage with uh, cactus instead. So both options are insane. This is indeed a backline god and uh, definitely an Axie I would recommend you guys breeding. Now let's keep looking here. Let's find another red one. Um, all right, 0 0.549. So here we have, I want something that costs like more than 0 0.3 Ethereum. Uh, so this one is 0 0.294. So let's take a look on this one and see what it's all about. So this one is a Biden zigzag cactus gravelin. Well, I see a pattern of, you know, plant axes that have Bidens and zigzag. This one has gravel went instead of the, it was hot, but right. So this is another opportunity. If you want to breed expensive axes, obviously uh, it, it does feel like plant axes might get nerfed just because they're so popular, just because um, a lot of their cards have too much shield. You know, if you don't build a farm out of this and you just try to go at it once or twice, you might be able to get these axes before the patch drops and it could still be like a really good opportunity for you. Uh, moving on, we have a 0 0.28 axe here. Let's check what it's all about. Feels like it's a plant once again, but this one is different. This is a garish worm, cute bunny, cactus hotbot. So not that much different, but it's a poison based axe. Yeah, another opportunity here. It's listed as one Ethereum. Obviously, it's not worth that much. I guess it is a zero breed. But I don't think the genes, yeah, like you have to be careful about this, okay? It's not because it's listed as one Ethereum that this is actually gonna be uh, sold like this. You know, this guy is actually playing with this X in his team and he never sold it, and there's probably a reason for that. But if you can sell it for 0 0.5, it's still gonna be a huge profit for you. Uh, now we have 0669, okay, that's a meme price. We have two axes here that seem very expensive. They're both plants, what a surprise. So here we have a Biden's beach. So this one has beach instead of cactus. That's also a lot of damage and also a lot of shield. Uh, and this one is a, whoa, okay. So instead of having Biden's, this one, oh, I actually really like this one. Wow, this is really good because Biden's gives you no damage. So he actually swaps the damage card that was in the horn for Pigeon Post that does the same thing that Biden's does because it's actually better, right? Because instead of removing the poison, it's going to give the poison back to the enemy Axie and you get an energy generation card here. Ooh, this is really good. No surprise, this guy, like I I'm sure the price is right with this one. Like this is a really good Axie. It's, it's clear to me why it's priced this way. Oh, 1.5 Ethereum, what the hell? What is this? Well, now this one is 
definitely not worth 1.5 or 2 Ethereum. Uh, I think like this one is listed as, as 2, but I found a 1.5. I mean, even if you sell this as 0 0.5, uh, I'm pretty sure there's a lot of profits to be made. And uh, this one is really cool because it has bird eyes and ears. So it would be usually a 45 speed beast, which is awesome, but it's a 47 speed beast because you have a trump card. So having this extra bird card that does a lot of damage makes this guy really, really powerful. I love this Axie. Moving on, we have a 0 0.3 one. What is this guy? So it's a top meta. Oh, Timber. Ooh, I love this 100 shield. Uh, add shield equal to the damage this card deals to plant targets. Okay, this is really cool. And at the same time, it's a Toothless Bite Grass Snake sort of Axie. I like this. This is pretty cool. Yeah, it's listed as one Ethereum here, but I did find the floor to be 0 0.3. Uh, and if the floor is 0 0.3, there's definitely, you know, a lot of profits to be made if you find good axes to breed something that looks like this. Then we have a, another cute bunny here. This is a bug. So it's a garish worm, cute bunny, antenna, twin tail, classic bug. Uh, really good cards. Cards that could get nerfed after the patch, but still uh, very powerful nonetheless. Going further, there's another 1.5 axie here. This one is a mech. The only mech in the whole top 50, by the way. Oh, look at this. Ooh, baby. It's a Ronin Shrimp Cute Bunny Dual Blade Axie. Oh, Jesus. This is insane damage. Uh, super fast because it's a mech. I love this guy. And you don't you don't care that you have low morale because you have Ronin already. So this this is a really, really good Axie. Uh, I, I would definitely recommend trying to bridge something like this. Finally, do we have anything else? All right, this is a 0 0.7 plant. Ooh, this one has carrot, right? I'm pretty sure. So it's a Biden zigzag antenna carrot. Also pretty awesome. Yeah, and here, uh, yeah, there's another 0 0.33 here, but I think, you know, this was already a lot of time. I just wanted to make sure I explain to you guys why some of these cards are good, and um, hopefully you will make use of this. We actually intend to have a service within our bot. It's actually, this is actually being made as we speak, where it will generate something that is similar to this Excel spreadsheet. Because basically, if you're watching this three weeks after this was posted, I'm pretty sure a lot of information here is not, it's not gonna be as reliable or accurate as it is right now at the time of the post but we're gonna have a newsletter sort of subscription where you will be able to get something that looks like this or remember something like this uh, to get a really good idea of what the best players are doing what are the best cards right now and also what are the cheap cards that you could maybe use that those players are using to increase your MMR without having to become bankrupt pretty pretty much so yeah this is it and now it is time for us to play some arena. It's been a long time since I've did that. So let's see if I can get some good results with these axes that we bought. All right, guys, so full disclosure here, ever since the arena, the arena season ended, and you know, I've been uh, dealing with my bot, I, I, I'm not playing a lot of Axe Infinity, okay? I'm about 1700 MMR right now. My highest MMR was 200, uh, 2600 in the last season, but I'm not playing a lot, so, I might play like shit because, you know, first of all, it's been a long time. Second of all, I've never played with these axes in my life. Uh, so if I do win, it probably means these axes are darn good. But uh, <laughs> let's see what happens first. I guess I'll... I, mean, I actually don't mind doing something like this. That's a lot of damage. I'm gonna steal some energy right there. That's good, that's good. A part of me just wants to kill this guy, but I think he's gonna shield him, so I'll just... I just wanna yam. Maybe the play was not even... yeah... I feel like this was not a good play. I should have... Honestly. But... Because he's gonna shield next turn. Yeah, I think I'm just gonna bite in again. I mean, no rush here. I'm gonna take this out. This is 50... Dude, 50 shield for zero energy and actually taking my poison at the same time. Biden's is way too good, Jesus Christ. He's going... He's gonna explode my freaking exit, but now he's out of energy. And I also didn't use any cards when he shooted, so now we can actually explode this guy. Uh, so this guy attacks first. Alright, I'm pretty sure I can burst this guy with free energy. And then I can do a lot of damage. I mean, this is gonna... It's gonna be insane, actually. 
Wow. Just too much raw damage with this, with this team. Like, can I just kill this guy in one go? Okay, the reptile card doesn't do that much damage. Wow, dude. I don't think in my life I was able to kill two axes in one turn like that. I guess this guy's still alive, but... And also, maybe I should have used my, my Mystic here, honestly. Because I would be able to slow this guy down next turn. But I guess it's not gonna matter, hopefully. Oof, 2 HP, uh, 8 HP. Okay, so I'm not gonna attack first, but this guy attacks first and I can stun. So if he only owns one card, it's still gonna be good. So... So I think what I'll do is something like this to break his nail shell, then I'll go back for this, and I'm still gonna save one energy. Yeah, this, this looks like a good play. Right, that's gonna be a lot of damage. Is that with this shield? I might be, be be able to tank whatever it is. Oh no, that's fine. but I do draw a card, so that's gonna be. A good play. And he created when he didn't need to, so that's also really good. So I think I'm gonna go with Revenge Arrow. This should be this should be GG. Maybe yeah, I think this is safer, honestly, to go like this. Even though I could use Chomp first. I think this is the safer play. No no no, wait a second. Yeah, that's the safer play. Alright, and we won. Uh I mean obviously this is not like super mega high MMR yet. Uh, I do intend to play a fair amount with this team. But uh this is looking good because I'll tell you guys, it's been a long time since I've played XD. Uh and like I just can feel the potential, like the power in my hands. Fuck. Three energy in the first turn. All right, he's out of energy. Uh, I think so. Yeah, he used carrot. Okay, it's gonna be double poison. Oh, I should have used the other one. Fuck. Mm. Maybe I should have used one Ivory Chop, actually. But he's out of energy. I didn't break his carrot, so... He only has two energy right now. He does have two lightning. Dude, he had another carrot. He had so many plant cards. He used, like, five plant cards in three times. So, I attack after all of these guys, so there's a chance I get stunned, so I should use this first, and I should use this, I think. He does have double talk, but he, sh he shouldn't have enough energy to actually kill me. Snail shot? So I broke the snail shot. Mm, maybe I actually overdid on the shield. Because if he doesn't break my shield, now nah, he will break it. Okay. Awesome. And this might still be enough damage to... Yeah, this is going to be a lot of damage. It's not going to kill him. But it's decent damage. The problem, though, is that this guy is freaking stunned. Hmm. I'm not sure I want to use an energy for him right now. Okay, this, this should kill this guy no matter what happens. Unless he can kill me. But he doesn't have energy. I think it's impossible for him to kill me, right? Yeah, it is impossible. And now I just get this kill. Awesome. Uh, he does have three energy now. So I think I'm gonna have to like... Do something like this. Problem is that my shield's not gonna break with Bonesay, right? So maybe I have to... Oh, he didn't do anything? What? Just... Oh, but now I attack first, so he just lost. Yeah. Alright, I mean, this team is looking really, like... This is not like an okay team for 0 0.3. This is like an actual god-tier team for 0 0.3 Ethereum. I, uh... I mean, obviously, there's a lot to be tested. This is not like the highest of the Mars. But, like, I'm, I'm feeling like these games are not even close. Like, not even close. So I want to keep playing. I know this video is already, like, super long, so I'm sorry. But, you know, there's so there was so much value that I wanted to give away. 
So hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, a couple of things that I want to say. First of all, download the Excel spreadsheet in the description if you want to you know, make more use of everything that I uh, brought to you guys. If you do want to use our bot, it has a lot of functions from an exchange where you can save money. Uh, so instead of using MetaMask, you're going to be able to save a lot of money by just using our own private Ron index. Uh, we do have a breeding calculator that I showed in a lot of different videos. I think this is like one of the, our most robust and incredible uh, features. So you can use that. You can use alarms so you can find good axes that get listed. So one of those axes uh, that you want to buy from the spreadsheet, maybe an alarm can allow you to buy at a cheaper price or just get it before anyone else does. And uh, finally, we also have in, in R1, R2 filter that also allows you to breed axes that look like this for a much cheaper price. I, I explain how to you do that in a lot of the videos before this one. So maybe watch that if you're interested, if you actually watch to this point. Uh, and yeah, hope you guys enjoyed this video. It was a lot of work. So I do appreciate a sub, a like, a comment. And if there was something missing, also please let me know in the comments.